it's your girl Tony Time, and I'm back with some more Sims for you. And let me just be candid. I just recorded this video, and I had to stop because I was getting a little frustrated, and I felt like I was all over the place. So we're gonna try this one more time. All right, run it back. So I'm here today with a little bit of a different video, and some might call it a rant. Some might call it being sensitive. Some might call it a uh, snowflake social justice warrior. Some people might find like it's a game, get over it. Nah, I don't give a damn. Listen, I don't know how to be quiet. That's my problem. If I had to say I have a flaw, that is my flaw. I don't know how to be quiet, okay? If I see something and it bothers me, I have to say something. And so I want to talk about really quick the Sims 4 Werewolves pack, okay? I love the pack, amazing Kaz items, cool build and buy items that I will never use because they all look raggedy as hell. But hey, for the builders, go ahead and knock yourselves out. Listen, that's not why I'm here. <laughs> I'm here, I'm not even gonna talk about the gameplay. I'm here really quickly about one specific thing that has still been bothering me after a month plus of having the werewolves pack, okay? So, for those of you that saw my last review video, right, it was on the Werewolves Pack. That was my last pack review, okay? And so, the Werewolves Pack, I just looked it up, came out uh, June 16th. It is now July 26th. So, like I said, it's been about a month, right? I tried to tell myself that you're just being sensitive, Tony, or like, it's not supposed to be taken that way, calm down. Get over it, blah, blah. Like I said, I don't know how to be quiet. What I want to talk about really quick is the scars that came with um, the werewolves pack, okay? So those of you who have all the packs or some of the packs, right? If you have Get Famous, then you know that we have these different facial scars, right? You got different facial scars from werewolves. You got different facial scars from um, Island Living. You got different teeth and things like that. We have uh, face things from vampires, right? That I cannot find. I don't know why I can't find those. <laughs> but like we have uh, different facial scars and other things from the vampires pack, okay? We do not have body scars from vampires or Sulani or anything else, right? We just got them were werewolves because of the fights and things that they're supposed to get in, right? Okay, cool. We're here. We're, we're here. I I'm like, you're here with me, right? Okay. So... I want to focus on right now the body scars, okay? We have some for the arms. We have some for the stomach. This one, I already said, this little one right here on the stomach, I'm probably honestly going to give this to my character, going to give this to Leo because I think it's going to really build into his storyline and having surgery and blah, 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 right? I get why people want things like these in The Sims, why we want... Uh, different skin conditions, different scars, wheelchairs, all these things, right? People want to represent themselves as Sims or they want to represent somebody else as a Sim or they want to be able to tell a story or just be representative of this big, beautiful place we call Earth where people are different. They want to be able to do that. I want to be able to do that, right? That's why we love modders. Modders and, and uh, CC creators and all that. Y'all, uh, I bow down to you because I could never right? Same thing with the Sims team even. I'll bow down to them because I can never make this damn game myself, right? That's why I pay them money so I could just buy the product and call it a day and enjoy myself, okay? My issue or the thing that really is still bothering me after almost a month is this one scar, okay? It's the back scars. So if you do not know, I'm a black woman, <laughs> I'm a black woman living in America. I'm a black woman living in America whose family is from the South, okay? And so my daddy's side is from South Carolina. My mama's side is from New York City. I was born in New York State. I lived in New York State for the majority of my life. I then moved down a few states to go to grad school. If you are really good at geography, go ahead and take a guess in the comments. My thing that bothers me about this, right? If you cannot tell by context clues, Black woman, South, America, back scar. Come on, y'all. Context clues are great. This reminds me too much of Roots, and I don't like it, <laughs> okay? So the back scar with the, with the bite from the werewolves, 
I get that. Werewolves fight, right? They're going to bite you. Okay, cool, whatever. That that makes sense. The werewolves pack. The one scar. Okay, claw marks, werewolf scratch. Makes sense. Still bothers me. But I'm like, if you had to have me choose the lesser of two evils, okay. The one that really upset me was this one. And so I ran it by two of my friends because I wanted to make sure I wasn't really just being a sensitive little baby. <laughs> and so, like I said, today's the 26th. I ran it by two of my friends um, two days ago on the 24th. I was cleaning my house. And I was like, y'all, this is still bugging me. Okay. I also asked one of my Twitter friends, hey, Hawk and Simmer. Hey, girl. Okay. So I asked her, am I the only one who's pressed about these back scars? And she didn't get what I was talking about. So I told her, like, black woman living in America, family from the South, back scars roots okay it reminds me too much of whip marks of lash marks of slavery i didn't like it and then she even said that she could not unsee it now and so i was like okay so i have somebody who's telling me i'm not crazy that's great then like i said i wrote my two friends one is white lives in texas i love her oh my god girl you are the best and then one is dominican lives in jersey love her too she's the best both of them, we're in a group chat, all three of us. The two of them lost their crap. They were like, what the hell is going on with The Sims? And and one of, actually both of them have played The Sims before. One of them I'm trying to get back into The Sims because she kind of like left it for Animal Crossing, but that's a whole different thing. Both of them were able to see what I saw. And I didn't even say anything about it looking like marks, whip marks, lash marks, anything like that. I just said, y'all, I'm bothered by this. And I just sent them a picture of the back scar from the sims and they saw it without me even having to say anything now i don't know if they were using their context clues right of american history and black people but they saw it i saw it another person saw it i'm just like okay so i can't be crazy <laughs> and i don't like using that word either but in this context i'm using that word because people will make you think that you are losing your mind when you are not and you're like this legitimately is an issue and i am not an animator I don't build games. I don't draw anymore. I used to draw back in the day. Don't draw anymore. So I can't tell somebody how to do how to do their job. I can't tell the Sims team how to draw or animate or put into the game claw marks, right? There's only but so many ways you can probably draw claw marks. I have no clue. Again, that is not my wheelhouse, not my circus. I don't do that. I work with mental health and that's where my expertise lies. So I'm going to stay over here. But this upset me because there were so many and they're in different spots. And it's not even like the four claw marks like this one. It's two, two, two. And it bothered me, especially as a black woman again. I primarily play black Sims in the game. I will play any race or any color Sim, but usually my families end up being black Sim families, okay? And so when I saw this on a black Sim especially, it really upset me. Okay, now you can say, well, don't put it on a black sim, duh. Okay, but I want to be able to play who I want to play. And obviously, that that just bothered me. I asked my fiance about it. He was asking me, okay, well, why do I feel that way? I explained it. He was asking me if I would feel that same way if it was on a sim of a different race. I'm like, honestly, I don't care what race the sim is. It bothers me that that's a thing, but especially because... I play black Sims. I'm a black woman. It really bothers me. So again, this, I don't know if it's a rant, if it's an open letter, if it's just me putting out into the ether a little bit of my upset over this, because I love the Sims game. I do. And I love the different things that we can do with the game. I love the, the individuality that the game can bring with things like body scars and facial scars. But this, this just wasn't it for me, Sims team. I gotta be honest. I don't know if there was somebody who didn't read the sensitivity handbook, if they didn't have somebody on the team who went, mm, that might not be a really good idea, or maybe we shouldn't do that, or hey, maybe we should just have one scratch mark or two scratch marks, or maybe we should, you know, not put it on the back. I don't know, okay? Again, I don't know. I don't know where I'm really going with this video, but I, I just felt like I need to voice this because I felt I feel like this is a bad look, and it does upset me a little bit. Okay. Again, 
I'm not a very sensitive person. If I can be honest, I'm not very sensitive, okay? I can see multiple sides of a thing. I understand that some people are very sensitive to things like this. I understand some people are just like, I don't care. It's a game. Get over it. Uh, but for me, even though this is a game and I should be like, yeah, it doesn't really bother me. It does. It does. It does. It really does. <sighs> and so, yeah, I don't really know where I'm going with this video, but I felt like I just had to say something. And maybe if you see it too, like, is it just me? I really I want to say I'm not the only person but I feel like the only person and I feel like I was losing it until my friends told me no you have a valid reason to be upset okay so yeah I don't know that's all I really had to say y'all so yeah I hope this video is not too long like I said this is my second try recording it but <sighs> yeah sims team I just wish we thought a little bit more about this decision, okay? And people, because again, say I'm sensitive, say it's just a game, say get over it, say just don't use them, just don't put them on black sims. Like, girl, that's not what they are. They're claw marks. What the hell you want them to do? They're fighting werewolves and they're trying to hide because they're whooping ass and so they're scratching them on the back. I don't really care. Again, not a good look. Upset with it. And yeah, that's that. I'm not even gonna say subscribe or like and comment none of that in this video because... I don't feel like this is the proper place to put that. But yeah, these are just my inner thoughts coming out onto the internet for people to roast me and say I'm dumb. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, that that that's all I really had for y'all. Okay. So yeah, it's your girl Tony time. I'm out. I'm not even doing my exit. I'm out. Bye.